troubleshoot how to fix this problem. How to fix the physical Windows server? It's not pinging and RDP is not working. So how to fix this problem? How to check at least what happened on the operating system level? I want to check how to check if it is a physical Windows. Yeah, he has permission, but that not as RDP he was able to work before. RDP was working, but suddenly now it is not working. Hmm? Domain login, even local account. He's not able to RDP only. Even it's not server is not even pinging to login. A login prompter always. Login working up only. Out of it. It was working five minutes before. Now at least I need to check what happened on the OS level. Any idea? Venkat? And the clue is it's physical windows. So I told you many times, like when I say, anybody says just physical, you should think about RMA, remote management adapter. Before that, we'll Windows method, how many Windows machine? What are all the login methods available? The Windows machine. Oh, how to log into OS like how to log into Windows machine? like a windows virtual machine is there how to log into the os hmm? and here we discussed very clearly you remember this to access remote windows machine if remote, it's a remote physical. Connection with the options are RDP, remote management adapter, and DC. You can go to direct uh, data center and or directly open the monitor. When I say physical windows, you must remember about ILO, like the remote management adapter, right? Like ILO or ID right? It is physical windows, RDP you can do or ILO, only two options or you can go to data center directly. I will, just for this purpose only, whether you, you really worked or not. If someone says physical server, always blindly you think 90% remote management adapter. I will log in via remote management adapter, check the console. And log in. By a console, you can log in. Then you fix the RDP service. Okay. So you have to answer this one. If it is physical Windows here, right? So Windows machine, one is RDP. Second, ILO. If it's a physical server. Third, web console. If it's, if it's a virtual machine, so this image, right? We have discussed. If it is a physical machine, these are the options. If it is virtual machine, RDP and web console from V Center. Log into the V Center from here. Open virtual machine console. Some problem, okay. You can power up. So, yeah. If it is Linux machine, RMA, SSH, 
are from the data center. SSH is the tool to access remote Linux machine. ESX machine, there are multiple ways, okay? five to six methods available to access remote ESX machine. When I say physical, you should think about that. Second one, I'm not able to RDP into my virtual machine. How will you troubleshoot? How to check at least what happened inside the OS if it is a VM? Hmm? I'm not able to RDP into a virtual machine. How to check what happened on the cons I mean, uh, operating system? Web console from vCenter or host. Next we'll next we'll focus. This is like just about method. How which method will you use to check? Okay, next one is how to troubleshoot RDP issue. So even though if it is a Windows machine, it's a very basic question. Even VMware administrator should be able to understand and answer it, okay? Because of, it's very simple, like RDP service only. Okay. If it is physical machine, login via ILO and console. If it is virtual machine, via vCenter console, you need to log in. Log in to the VM console. Check RTP service. If needed, restart. Okay. Check disk space and user permission. All are good. Mission is. Uh, I'll, I'm coming to that point. If all are good, like he has permission, disk space, there is enough disk space. RDP service is also running, but still user is not able to RDP. What could be the problem? I think these are from OS level things that we need to check. So check, think in with respect to VMware perspective. What are all the possible things that could cause RDP issues from VMware side? Windows side, these three things. Anything is from Windows? We can enable that. Uh, uh, the already enable, I think, service that is starting. That is a service, but um, we have proper system operating to go to the system browser. That's like what is the service on our RDP enable out what is service start. Uh, Okay, so he's asking to like disable and uh, so uh, yeah, disable RDP and enable it. Okay, before that, I want to that's a, that comes under VMware thing. Disabling the company. Can you do from OS? We can do it from VMware. Okay, so our user like disable a NIC card from OS N and enable it back. Verify IP configuration. That is one thing. Verify IP configuration from OS N if it has same IP or not. These are all possible issues from the OS side. Next VMware side. You have noticed, like if you go to task and events, you have noticed the RDP problem happened immediately after vMotion. After vMotion, this problem started. What could be the possible reason?
Nikad. Richard. Nick is connected. Is connected. Nick is connected. Code group name and VLAN ID. On the source host, if it is connected. VM was connected to a port group named okay, let's say capital UC unified computing. Okay, here it is small UC. When you try to V motion, it will lose the network connection because of naming mismatch. It's the case sensitive. That is one thing. Port group name you have to verify. Then if it is configured as VLAN ID here. This we have discussed during Vmotion itself. Vmotion, Vmotion interview questions. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, after Vmotion, we verified the port group is also same. Okay, first port group name it is connected, and the same port group name it is connected on the source and destination, UC and UC. Okay, fine. That's we have verified here. Port group name and VLAN ID. Make sure they are correct. Then. Second thing, VLAN ID. On the source host, what is the VLAN ID? On the destination host, whether VLAN ID is there or not, you have to verify. There may be no VLAN ID here. So that also we have verified here. Source port group name and VLAN ID. If that is missing, what will happen? It will not ping. There is no VLAN ID. Port group name is exactly matching. Here there is a VLAN ID called 100 and there is no VLAN ID here. If you do vMotion, it will work and will be connected to the same port group. But ping will not work because VLAN ID is missing. Now you go and enter that VLAN ID here. Okay. And if it is working, that's good. If it is still not working, exactly. That point we need to think. Even though if port group has same name and same VLAN, if not matching, we will fix it here. Okay, if port check the port group name and VLAN ID are same as source host, source port group. If they are same, fine. If not matching, match it. Okay, so that will fix it in a step eight. Now, if they are same, still after vmotion if you try to vmotion back again it is working if you move to this host its ping is not working firewall no. firewall only could work out and okay voice firewall outside firewall voice firewall firewall only could not work ping out the rtp could could not work out then so source source you find host it could not work out and everything fine it could move just a problem also but port group name and VLAN fine. Uh, same port group mother reconstruction. Approach like anybody can check on the chest. Are they almost new chest another like network? Vila VLAN tracking. We'll uh, check on VLAN uh, tracking and uh, physical switch port. Reconstruct that so only the same VLAN and the VLAN. So one that approach like it is same VLAN characteristic more of the only work is there. And check mark this work is there. Okay, so he is saying like basically reconnect the port group. the destination before doing that like actually we can do that something called trunking these guys are answering like trunking like visibility will that's fine like we will do it reconnect port group will work sometime okay reconnecting to the port group another thing which is not visible for us but still will cause problem is even you want to compete we want to manam just some competition reason opportunity it will not be visible for us but will cause same problem 
సో ట్రంకింగ్ ఇక్కడ స్విచ్ పోర్ట్లో వీలాన్ ఐడి ఇక్కడ ట్రంక్ చేశారు ఇక్కడ ట్రంక్ చేయలేదు అది మనకి విజిబిలిటీ ఉండదు విఎంఎల్ లూస్ కనెక్షన్ ఆఫ్టర్ విఎంఎల్ సో ఆఫ్టర్ వెరిఫైంగ్ ఆల్ దీస్ నైన్ చెక్స్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ స్టిల్ కాసింగ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ యూ హ్యావ్ ఆన్సర్ దిస్ వన్ అండ్ బిఫోర్ గోయింగ్ టు దిస్ వన్ ఇంటర్వ్యూ చెప్పేటప్పుడు మీరు ఈ ఎయిట్ నైన్ స్టెప్ చేసేంత వరకు వాళ్ళు వెయిట్ చేయరు ఈ రీజన్ మనం ఆల్మోస్ట్ ఫస్ట్ ఆర్ సెకండ్ పాయింట్లోనే చెప్తాం ఆల్మోస్ట్ లైక్ సెకండ్ ఆర్ థర్డ్ స్టెప్లోనే చెప్పాలి ఓకే వాడు మీకు ఎన్ఎఫ్ టైం ఇచ్చాడంటే ఓకే ఫైన్ చెప్పండి మధ్యలోనే స్టాప్ క్వశ్చన్ బ్రేక్ చేస్తున్నాడు అంటే ఈ వాజ్ ఎక్స్పెక్టింగ్ దట్ ఆన్సర్ అది ముందుగానే చెప్పాలి చెక్ విత్ నెట్వర్క్ అడ్మీ ఫర్ ద విల్ అండ్ ట్రంక్ స్విచ్ బోర్డ్ physical switch port with a VLAN ID miss sign here so RDP troubleshooting even if it is pure windows thing half of our things are like VMware related things only okay. so these are very basics from windows as a L1 admin also can do this okay. so, so all together we should know how to troubleshoot RDP రీబూట్ <laughs> Okay. These things I wanted to check before we proceed. Okay. 